Well, hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna go through a real world wedding. Wedding photography, that's right. I photographed my thought process, why I do what I do, lenses, cameras, just everything. We'll go through it, we'll have some fun, I'll show you the images, and we'll rock and roll. Ready to get started? Let's go. What's good guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Okay, when I go and photograph a wedding, it's really not about the ceremony for me that gets me excited. It's everything else before, after, sometimes in between. The ceremony for photographers, yes, for clients, it might be important. But for me, I don't get excited about the ceremony. When I show up to a wedding, usually it's the getting ready moments, right? The getting ready bride or groom. So I like to incorporate the bride in the detail shot. For example, this picture right here. She's in a robe, you know, beautiful sweet, getting ready. Her wedding dress, I hung it right next to the door. There was some beautiful light coming in from the outside. So I cracked the door open a little bit and I asked her to pose. A beautiful light shining in, the dress is in the picture, and just a really beautiful, different detail shot. I'm using a 24 to 70 here with my Nikon. I believe this is my Nikon D4. As the bride is getting her hair and makeup ready, I like to do details. Slap on the macro. This shot was taken with the 105 Nikon G, actually. I have a pocket LED light that I use you know, off to the side here, and I shoot the details, I shoot the rings, handheld. You wanna build, you know, you wanna break the ice. You don't wanna go in there and, you know, them getting all stiff and you acting all professional, no. If you have to, you know, let me show you this image. If you have to have a beer with them, you know, yeah, don't get drunk, maybe a few sips. Here's to your day, thank you for having me. You wanna have an attitude like you're a great friend with a fancy camera. And then they will listen to you, the groom will listen to you. You know, here in this bottom picture, we're having a beer together, you're just cracking jokes. Yeah, how's your day, you know, you're excited, this and that. Yeah, so this is a picture of the groom here after we, you know, he got dressed. I, you know, I'm using a 24 to 70 here once again. And just beautiful window light coming in from his left. And then I want some combination shots, serious shots, and then I want some fun, some laughter. So in this next image right here, I'm making him smile, I'm cracking him jokes. You know, I'm, I'm using that same window light coming in from the left. The reason why I don't want a 7200 in the shots, I don't want to be too far away, close distance to the groom so I can joke with him, talk to him, direct him. So moving on here, again, uh, bridal photos, you know, Again, with this, I'm using a beautiful window light coming in. I'm using, I'm having those curtains diffuse the light. You know, my natural very own softbox. Again, I wanna incorporate as much of the wedding as possible. So in this image, I see the flower girls, you know, just looking at the bride and just smiling. I wanted to incorporate them in the shot. So I posed the bride looking outside the window using that beautiful light with the flower girls in the foreground Details, you know, again, you know, you don't necessarily need to place the bouquet somewhere and take a picture, although I do just in case. You can also do details as the bride holding the bouquet. Here she's holding the bouquet, a little bit of detail in the back, the door, and I like the, the side of the, the dress here showing. As I was taking bridal photos of her, as I was taking bridal portraits of her, I just really quickly just cropped in the bouquet, shot this uh, picture cropped like that, you know? So I thought this would make a really good detail photo. And it did, I really like it with the natural light coming in. Okay, so always keep in mind, guys, when you're doing bridal photos, you initially don't have to have the bouquet in the picture every time, you know? She gets tired, she gets tired of holding the bouquet. Put the bouquet down. Use her hands to compose the shot, to pose. Here I'm having her hold the edge of the door, look outside her window, uh, and just look, give me a serious look there. I'm using the little candles on the left, out of focus, beautiful bokeh, with my Nikon 7200 lens, D850. Just a beautiful shot, serious look. You might wanna just like tell her, hey, 
uh, can you give me a crack a little smile? You know, have different variations of the same image just in case, you know, you want to have that combination of smiling, serious, off to the side, look at the lens. And a good uh, example of having different variations of this shot, just look at you, but don't move her pose. L you know, have her eyes just look at you. You know, sometimes when you say, hey, okay, look over here, they move their head. You don't want to do that. You said, just with your eyeballs, look over here. It makes a big difference because if she moves her head, that whole light, everything will change. So, you know, hotel rooms can be boring. I admit, you get bored. So what I do is I go, you know what, let's step outside a little bit. Let's take some, you know, portraits of you while, when he's dressed up, when it's, you know, he's ready to go right before the first look happens. I asked the groom, step outside for me. You know, let's go take some pictures outside. Hand in his pocket, maybe hand outside, different variations. So as I mentioned, I'm shooting this at 12 p.m. around. So the sun is not ideally at the location where I really want it to be. So I'm using a speed light here to fill in just a little bit of light in their face so they're not really too dark. So I'm using my speed light here. Moving on to the bride and the bridesmaids, you know, just... Two different variations of shots here. I like to incorporate them, not just standing and posing for me. I like to just get them involved, you know, look at the bride, fix her dress, you know, interact, talk to the bride, make sure she's feeling comfortable. How are you guys doing, ladies? You know, everybody having a good time? And here they're just interacting, making sure her dress is good and, and beautiful. And they're just, like I said, interacting. And I love the expression on the bridesmaids' faces when I'm shooting these type of shots. Again, remember that natural light, that soft light I'm getting from the outside and the curtains are diffusing that light. I'm positioning the bride right in front of the door, backing away. I want that compress uh, compression and I want the shot to just glow using the natural light from the side, the mirror, you know, I'm shooting this maybe 3.5. I want the bokeh. So the ceremony, like I said, the ceremony is probably for me, you just capture the moments, right? You know, I like to zoom into the little details of the moments. That's what makes it fun. You know, so right here in this shot, you know, I wanna make sure I see the bride and groom's face uh, some some sort of emotion of you know here's the groom looking at the bride she's looking down she's cherishing the moment we see the priest in the background here the golden moment for photographers is the portrait session where you can be creative the moment you have the bride and groom before the party starts or you know with this picture the first thing I want to do if you look at this picture is take a picture of them, a traditional picture. I, I call this the mom, the parent photo. The, the photo that they want on, in, on their wall, blown up. And just move on to the fun shots, you know. The shots where you can ha actually have make, may, maybe make them walk and talk. And then having them walk towards me, you know, just, ha you know, this, this is with a wider lens. Again, I'm using that glow from the sun, causing those shadows in the foreground on the, on the floor. I love backlit situations. I love their expressions here. Again, you want to portray yourself as cool, as having a good time, and like a friend with a nice camera, you know. Break the ice, tell jokes. You know, here the groom is kissing her on the cheek, and I'm with my 7200. I'm a, probably about 100 millimeters here. I want to capture the compression that this lens can offer. You know, I'm not taking a picture of them with their backs against the wall. You know, you want dimension in your picture, and this picture offers that. I love the fact that this light is on here, and we're getting this smooth, buttery bokeh in the backdrop here. I love her, the, the expression on her face. Everything about this picture is nice. Again, having fun with the bride and groom here. Having fun, being creative, you know, something they, they might like, they might not like, but you're taking the pictures. And watch for straight lines, guys. You know, I know I always harp on this. With photographers, watch for the lines to be straight. Have fun with the groom, beat them up, you know, lift them up in the air, you know, they all have fun. And then I'm there with a 7200 lens and I'm just capturing moments here, you know, of them having fun, interacting with the groom. I wanna capture these expressions. You know what happens when you try to take a picture like this? Some of the groomsmen, they turn you their back, 
towards the camera and you don't see everyone's face. So maybe, you know, let them know that when you lift them up, to lift them up in a way where you're not, they're not covering their faces. So, okay, so when I'm photographing groups like the bride and groom with the bridal party or the, the ladies or the, the, or the ushers with the groom, I like to use a 7200 and back away. I like the look that this lens produces versus, sure, I can have my 24 to 70 on, you know, be closer to the action, but it's not going to give me the same effect as a 7200 will taking the same exact picture. Okay, moving on to the reception now. You want to take interesting pictures, you want to capture the moments. Here's an example of the son and the mother, mother son dance. And just, you know, I have my off camera flash. I like to incorporate the backdrop being maybe guests watching them, something interesting, you know? So if you can incorporate people sitting down, watching the action, even great. Here's an example of that. Here is the uh, maid of honor giving her speech. And I like the fact that I'm incorporating the guests in the background, background here. And I'm using, again, 7200 back away from the action and just zoomed in here. I'm, you know, capturing this beautiful bokeh here in the back, probably at f3.5. And look at that beautiful hair light I'm getting from my off camera flash. Here's another example of that, you know, with the off camera flash. Zoomed in, I'm probably at f3.5 here at 200 millimeters. And you know what? If you see a moment with the guests, take a picture. You know, if they're paying attention to the speeches and you're not doing anything, zoom into the guests with the 7200 and take a few shots of the guest. The bride and groom will appreciate that. This, this moment, I, I know a lot of photographers hate it when the bride and groom asks the photographer to follow them and take some uh, guest shots around the tables. Who hates that? You know, all your photographers. I don't mind it if it's it's a smaller wedding, but if it's, you know, 300 people, there's no way you're going to do that. And I, you know, I talk them out of it because it's just going to be a mess. They're going to waste so much time doing that. This particular wedding, it wasn't that big of a wedding. It was probably about 150 people. So we got this done, you know, fairly quickly. When I'm, when I'm taking pictures of the guests, you know, with the bride and groom, you know, what happens usually when the bride and groom, uh, you know, approach a table to take a picture with them? This is what happens, you know, hugs, kisses. Oh, it's, you look so beautiful. I, you know, I take advantage of the moment and I capture candid shots. In this particular shot, I had my second shooter with the 7200 follow me around and capture these moments as I was, you know, because this shot is taken with the 2470, right? But this shot is 7200. So my second shooter is following me around. He's taking these shots in between and I'm doing the posed table shots, you know, so. And again, dancing action shots, you know, if you see something you like. Okay, so this is a technique I use when doing the flower toss. Usually, I like to stand directly in front of the bride with my 7200 lens i want to capture it tight up close the moment she's throwing the bouquet have your second shooter do the standard shot with off to the side you know where you see the whole the, all everyone's body you know this and that here's a shot of that same in technique with the groom <laughs> you could see I, and i focus i focus right on the groom, the bride, or the groom. You know, I want the people catching whatever they're catching out of focus. It makes a really, really cool shot. This is a good technique to use if you want to just get out of there and say, hey, guys, can I get a shot of you guys just, you know, looking at each other and just saying bye to each other? Like, not saying not, not to each other, saying bye to me. You know, just a little bye. You might want to incorporate the video because the video might like that, you know? And that's your excuse to say, hey, all right, guys, congratulations. Uh, it was fun. Thank you for having us. We're out of here. You know, oh man, thank you. You guys were awesome. So yeah, guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys had fun. If you like content like this, guys, if you had fun, if you got a thing or two from this video, go ahead and like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. We'll see you on the next video. Hey, what's good, guys? Vahagen here from Vahography. If you like more rocking videos like this one, Go ahead and check the videos on the screen and subscribe to this channel, Vahography.
rock and roll.